<laughs> hey guys, this is a little bit different of a video, a different view perhaps. You can see my uh, setup in the background. Today's devlog is going to be a day in the life of an indie game developer. What that looks like, what my responsibilities are, what I do day to day. So let's get in the code. So I'm not gonna make you uh, watch me get coffee high or have a developer log out there where you see how much coffee I actually drink. But this is kind of uh, my typical setup. I'm now looking at my computer, though I'm not looking at my webcam. And in the background, you can kind of see the mess that we've got. Let's get started. So looking at my setup of uh, where I left things last night, I'm working on uh, this spider spawn animation of him kind of crawling out of the ground. Then over here, I've got it muted. Uh, I have some uh, classical Celtic music going on. That's my setup. Going likes to come in, turn it off my brightness of the keyboard. I have a matching mouse. I have a, a PlayStation controller when I'm testing controller input. My headphones for when things get too noisy. And uh, you can see my post notes. I have another video all about these post notes. But each one has uh, enough information for me to recollect where I left off or what I was working on. As a developer, sometimes it's very easy to get absorbed into what you're working on, but it is important to remember to take those breaks, get away for a couple minutes, keep your mind fresh, because when you're staring at a problem for so long, sometimes you're your own impediment. You block yourself, you overthink things when the solution might be actually easier than what you're thinking at the time, and just getting away for five minutes, getting a cup of coffee, Looking outside is not only good for your eyes, if your optometrist would recommend, but also gives you that, that mental break so you don't suffer from fatigue, which leads to depression, which leads to no work being done. So I don't always set a timer of my scheduled breaks, but there are occasions where it's nice to have something on your calendar or an alarm that says, get up and get away. Okay, so one thing I wanted to do is treat this more like a mod than actual game development, because you can easily begin to overthink multiple aspects of the actual game development. It's easier to instead think of how I'm going to just replace X with Y, for example. So I had this base model in there, very similar sizes and everything. So I think it should just be able to fit right in. Okay, so a few hours have gone by. We've done some development. I did some film editing for uh, some devlogs and other promotional material for Spookville. And now it is lunchtime. So I'm done with lunch and uh, I want to start prepping for dinner. And dinner is a special time of the day where after I'm done working, I like to unwind, listen to some music and cook a good meal for everybody. So the, today's dinner is going to be some crockpot chicken with cream of mushroom soup cutting up a little bit more mushroom to put in there and uh, mashed potatoes and another vegetable. Hey guys, okay, come with me. I just got another cup of coffee and I'm gonna take a, another mental break. So this is probably my last afternoon break. Gotta clear my head like I talked about. Stay motivated and everything like that. You gotta break your day up. So I'm gonna show you one of my favorite pastimes uh, that's not game related per se, but um, something I find enjoyable, relaxes me, lets me into my brain. And uh, not very good at it, but I enjoy it. And that, that's the main thing. So uh, it's kind of a mess because uh, I don't get to play very often, but I've got a, a Jackson Dinky with a, a Marshall two by two cabinet. Then I've got this little bass guitar. I don't know the name brand and I have a Marshall ESL 40 combo behind. Okay, so where I left off was the spider was spawning with the particle effect uh, that generated around it. And then we were working on the spawn animation. So let me show you what that looks like. 
So now we are in Unity, and as I mentioned, we are working on the spider spawn script. So when the spiders appear, I wanted them to kind of come out of the ground um, magically, not out of a burrow, but like they were spawned in by magic. And so if I look at this prefab I've created, I'm using this particle effect that uh, looks awesome. Like it, it looks like he's doing, but it just kind of spawns in the ground. I've got it centered around the spider and it looks good from afar, um, but that's it. So what I would like to do is actually create a little animation that gives it the uh, spider some life that makes it look like he's alive this morning. So we should be able to see it here. Yeah, there we go. So let's, uh, let's also do some... Uh, <laughs> that's your uh, normal size of spiders right there. Okay, this is just a few minutes later. I'm actually back working on what I just threw away because I had the thought it would sure be nice if there was like a uh, an audio clip that played with that. A few moments later. Why oh, is that 20 lingering? So remember, it is important to celebrate these small wins, regardless of how small. So I already had some stuff done for the spider. Create with the AI follow behavior, the attack. But I really wanted to spruce up the way that he spawns. Play an animation, have a nice little particle effect. That's complete. So I can actually now throw away the post -it note that I wrote uh, right here. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours. I've put in about six hours into actually game development, a couple hours of editing game development, especially starting a studio and everything like that is not a five, five day, eight hour job. It is a lifestyle. This is kind of what a day in the life for me is like. It involves a lot of caffeine. It involves a lot of, uh, trials and tribulations but also small successes that's what keeps me motivated going thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one